In this video, we will be learning how to make multiple firing modes inside of Unity so that when we switch the mode, uh, we can switch between the single bullet and the burst mode. So in the last couple of videos, we were able to make this. We were able to make the movement system as well as the, uh, we added this 3D model and we made these animations all by ourselves. We added the aiming animation, walking animation, running animation and all that. Then we also added the firing system. And then we also added the reloading system. As you can see now we have 30 bullets over here. And then of course we can shoot around. And then also we added the uh, sound effects. So if you have missed these videos then go ahead and check them out. Uh, as you can see over here. Part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4. And this is the part 5 that we are recording right now. Anyways, let's get to our video. So, uh, yeah, now we have to make the firing modes. Now, if I go to the player and in the player we have the shooting FSM. All right, this is what we made and this is the FSM that we made uh, it looks a little complex and if you don't know what this is then this is Playmaker. Uh, Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. Now, if you haven't used Playmaker then believe me it will change your fucking life. Believe me. So if you want to get Playmaker you can buy it from Asset Store or if you don't want to buy it you can also download it for free. The link will be in the description box below. Just simply go ahead and drag it inside of Unity, import it, install it and you will be good to go. If you have any problems regarding Playmaker let me know in the comments I will try to help you out. So with that done let me just go back to the shooting. Uh, so this one takes care of the animations. This one takes care of the shooting and this one takes care of the UI. Alright, just this single thing. This only and only this single action takes care of all of this thing that you just see over here. And yeah, these are the four FSMs that we have or three FSMs. Okay, so if you go to the shooting, this is what we are going to do. Uh, when we start the game, we say that the ammunition uh, should be five. I don't know. It should be 30. Uh, I just set it to th uh, 5 so that we can check the reloading. So when the game starts, I want the ammo to be 30. And then we wait for 0.5 seconds and then come over here. And then we get the input from the player uh, to, you know, click the button. If we click the mouse button that is left, we go over here. And we play the sound, we uh, shoot a laser. And then we also check whether or not that a laser is hitting an enemy. If it is hitting the enemy, in this case the enemy is the these guys over here, the targets. If it is hitting the enemy, then we come over here and you know explode or kind of add the force and come over here uh, reduce the ammo come over here and then we check whether or not the ammo is zero if it is zero uh, then we go ahead and reload if it is not zero we come back over here right simple as that again if you have any problems then make sure you see the video uh, this is the video uh, no this is the video shut up this is the video in which we made the shooting system so make sure you see that and you will be good to go or i recommend you all of uh, seeing all of these and you will be good to go Okay, now here is where we change the change it a little bit. Uh, let's see what is going on here. You will be able to understand it a little better if we are playing the game. As you can see, if I shoot, it goes all through here and it simply goes back just like that. So what is happening is we shoot, we wait for 0 0.04 seconds, we come over here, reduce the ammo by 1, which is this one. Then we check whether or not it's zero if it is not zero we come back over here right so this is single firing mode we want to you know hit at least four or five uh, bullets uh, when we fire one all right now how can we change it into burst mode well in order to change it to the burst mode instead of going back to the firing and waiting for the player to shoot uh, or or click the button we simply come back over here all right okay so these two are uh, supposed to dealing with the reloading all right this only checks whether or not the ammo is zero if it is then it reloads if it is not we come back over here and this one is just to reduce the ammo and this one is for killing so i'm gonna bring these out these are the four things that we are gonna focus right now all right so i'm gonna go ahead and bring these over here a little bit and then we're gonna add in a state right over here so instead of going back to the uh, you know input check uh, so that when the player uh, presses the button we come over here instead of doing that we simply come over here in the state 7 and then we are gonna go ahead and say add in a float counter that will be a counter so float add that will be a counter check and you say new variable counter this will only count uh, and we're gonna add this counter with one all right in here I'm gonna go ahead and say set float value and we're gonna set the value of the counter equals uh, zero alright 
So when the game starts, the float value of the counter will be zero. All right, and then we shoot once, the counter will uh, the counter value will be added by one. All right, okay, uh, okay, okay. Now, uh, if we want to shoot five bullets in the burst, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check whether or not the counter is five or not. So we come over here, okay, come over here and say uh, float compare, and we compare the counter with five all right so how many bullets you want to fire i want to fire five bullets so uh we're gonna go ahead and say if it is equal to five then we're gonna say finished oops oops finished and simply come back over here which means we have fired five bullets if it is false or if it is less than uh five then we're gonna say fire again bam and if it is greater than uh five then we're gonna say yeah what we're gonna say what we can say if it's greater than five then of course it's finished all right so what we're doing over here is instead of going back here over here after shooting one bullet we're gonna say add this counter by one so if it is zero then it's gonna become one so it's gonna shoot 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 five times and when it's equal to five we're gonna come back over here so this is the basic logic over here for the burst mode so let me just go ahead and see if it is working or not play the game and I think you understand what I just did over there, right? Okay. As you can see, he did the burst mode. Bam! As you can see, he is shooting five times, so burst mode. I think five is good, or I can set this to four. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this is the burst mode, and if we simply come back instead of going over there, this is the burst mode. All right. If we come back over here, it's gonna switch back to the switch back to the single mode. So if I go ahead and play back again, we're not coming in here, right? So uh, we're gonna simply go back to the single firing mode. So as you can see, now it's shooting one mode, one time, right? So. Um, this is how you make the burst mode and the single mode. Now we have to switch between all of these, right? Okay, so instead of going directly over there, I'm gonna go ahead and add another state in which we're gonna check whether or not we are, we want to do the burst mode or we wanna do the single firing mode, right? So how do we do that? Well, we have to, there should be a variable or boolean that we wanna set. If it is true, then we're gonna do the burst mode. If it is false, then we're gonna do the single firing mode. So we can also make a new FSM just like that. This one only will take care of the burst or not. So we're gonna go ahead and say get button down. And you can set any button you want. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new button for the burst mode or you know switching between the things. So how you make that is by increasing this by one. So in my case it's 30 so I'm gonna say 31. And as you can see the last one is duplicated. You can rename it to uh, switch. And I'm gonna set the switch to B, right? So the oh sorry, B. B. Where the fuck is B? There we go. Okay, so this is the button name, and this is the button actually is. So switch basically is B. You can set this to anything. I wanna set it to B. So when we press B, we can switch between the burst mode and uh, single firing mode. So I'm gonna copy the name. And I'm gonna close that, paste it over here. So whenever we get the button uh, switch, when we press that, we're gonna say uh, switch. All right, you can name to anything you want. Does not actually matter. So this is a uh, burst. This is burst, and this is single. Burst and single. I'm gonna copy this one over here. Paste it over here, and bam. All right, simple as that. Switch, switch. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say set bool value. And what we're going to do is we can make it global variable. So new variable, global variable burst. And in here, we're going to say global variable burst to false. Simple as that. I'm going to set this to start state because we don't want, uh, we want the single uh, to be by default. When the game starts, we want it to be single and uh, we can switch between that, right? I'm gonna go back to the player, go back to the shooting. And in here, we're gonna go ahead and say bool test. The bool test, we're gonna say global variable burst. If it, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, so in the bool test, we're gonna say if the bool is true, if the burst is true, we're gonna go ahead and say new variable, a new event. 
burst and burst right and if it is false then we're gonna go ahead and say single single as that bam I think that will take care of that so we simply come over here and see whether or not burst is true or false if it is false uh, then we simply go ahead and shoot once if it is not then we come over here and you know do the counting thing we do the cycle uh, every time and when it's five or four we stop and then we come over here simple as that not big deal now if you close save play we should be able to see that we can simply switch between burst and single mode right now it should fire single as you can see it's firing single if I press B I pressed B and now it should bur burst as you can see now if I press uh, B again single, B again burst reload okay so everything is properly working now uh, you can notice You can notice has, that he is not doing the animation properly, right? He should, you know, brrr, do the animation like that. No, it's not doing that. So how to fix that? So if we go to the animation FSM, as you can see, this is the state in which we fire and we set the boolean of fire to true. I'm going to copy this one over here. Close that or we can simply go to the shooting. And uh, in here, we're going to go ahead and go to state one and we're going to say set the fire to false. Uh, FSM bool fire to false uh, not every frame just just false and we come over here and in this state in the burst state we're gonna set this to true just like that also in here we're gonna set this to true just like that all right so true uh, I'm gonna bring it all the way up just like that just like that and yeah that basically should take care of it let's see if it is doing the animation or not properly or not properly or not okay B as you can see it does that animation and that takes care of that single firing mode single firing mode single firing mode if I press B burst mode burst mode burst mode burst mode burst mode B single firing mode single firing mode burst mode and reload so this is basically it hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah this is how you make the single firing mode and burst mode burst mode burst mode burst mode as you can see amazing, amazing just amazing hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to this channel which is how to do and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos uh yeah and in the next video we are gonna go ahead and add some enemies so that they will shoot around and run around and you know have some ai and all that uh but that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next video peace out